Hello everyone. It is 4.16 a.m. I got off work about 15 minutes ago. And what better time to record a video? The headline for this article is probably the best news that a lot of us have seen for the past few months even. On dailypause.com, it says we urgently need to adopt more dogs this summer. And the reason why is because adoption interest for dogs has fallen and shelters are more crowded than ever, making this summer a fight for animals' lives. All right, I know that we say this every time, but when they say pets or animals, they mean dogs. Look at the picture that they have up here. Those aren't animals, those are mutants. That's a worrisome headline, but consider the situation in Culleton County, South Carolina where Laura Clark is the director of Animal Services. Last week, her shelter housed 135 dogs, double its official capacity. Now, if dogs are so wonderful, so amazing, so irreplaceable, why are they being abandoned in shelters? I just have to ask that question because dog nutters will get on our channels and start parading how everybody loves dogs and there's nothing we can do about it, but if everyone loves dogs, why are dog owners getting rid of their dogs? Pups were kept in normal kennels, the shelter's unair conditioned garage area, and in cages meant for cats. Dogs who got along became roommates out of necessity. The public shelter isn't really taking in more dogs than usual, Clark says, but adoption demand has cratered. She doesn't expect it to improve as shelters and rescues across the country enter their busy seasons. <laughs> I'm just going to take a guess. The reason why the summer is a busy season for animal shelters is because people want to get rid of their dogs when they go on vacation and they realize, hey, I don't need to get a pet sitter. I can just get rid of this thing. <laughs> If this continues and there's not some kind of magical solution that happens in the next month or two, we are going to be euthanizing perfectly healthy dogs, she says, daily pause. And by perfectly healthy dogs, they mean dogs that are perfectly healthy to be ripping off the faces of children. So, you know. She won't be alone this summer either. This is when many dogs arrive in shelters. A big problem when there are already more dogs coming in than available adopters. Without the public's help, shelter staff, many already overwhelmed, will be forced to make uninevitable decisions as they work hard to avoid the worst case scenarios. It's going to be a fight for dogs' lives, really. <sighs> well, this is what you get when you promote dogs endlessly. You promote dogs without considering if somebody is even in the position to be able to afford a dog or to take care of it properly. You want to endlessly promote dogs? This is what you get. Own up to it and don't push for more people to adopt dogs because they're going to end up back in a shelter anyways because more people are waking up. More people are reaching a moment of clarity and that's why adoption rates are dropping for dogs. That's awesome. And they're going to have to make these, you know, this, this horrible, this terrible decision to euthanize all these worthless mutts. Why don't you just eat them? They're going to be dead anyway, so, you know, make a delicious fucking meal out of it. As more dogs arrive, euthanasia increases. Yay. There aren't many fond things to remember about 2020, but headlines hailing empty animal shelters were the feel-good pandemic story. As we learned how to live with COVID-19, stuck in the house, millions of Americans decided to bring home a mutt. Now the shelters are far from empty. Shelter Animal Count, a national database that tracks pet outcomes at American shelters, reported an uptick in dogs arriving in shelters. Compared to the first quarter of 2022, 7% more dogs arrived in American shelters in the first three months of this year. That's on the top of last year, when 4% more animals entered shelters than exited, according to SAC. 
We need more homes for dogs, and too many are waiting in shelters, says Stephanie Feiler, SAC's executive director. And now we're in year three, and the gap of dogs arriving versus dogs leaving just gets bigger and bigger. And that's why shelters are full. Yeah, they're full because they're realizing that they've been duped, and all of this stupid advertising to get a mutt was very glamorized and didn't show them the reality of owning a dog. There's just a lot of responsibility. Who wants to get their ass up at 4 a.m. on a rainy Tuesday morning to fondle dog shit? I'm certainly not. But that reflects a similar trend Best Friends Animal Society has tracked over the past two years. For 2021, it reported that roughly 355,000 dogs and cats had been euthanized. It was the first time that number had increased in five years. In 2022, Best Friends says about 378,000 animals, but they probably mean dogs, were killed. The cause? More animals coming in, 4.4 million total, and fewer adopters showing up, especially at larger municipal agencies. Those are the shelters and the rescues serving busier cities and countries. The ones who take in dogs who have nowhere else to go. Hmm. Those puppies look like they could go really well with some soy sauce. When shelters like those get crowded, Filer says their staff has to juggle three main options, all of them bad. First, non-public organizations can opt to stop taking in animals and focus on care for the ones they already have. Nonprofit rescues have that option when they can't care for any new arrivals, but that's not something government-run, open admission shelters can do. Or they can manage the overcrowding as best they can. That gives animals a place to live, but it makes the shelter staff work even harder and puts animals at risk for not getting all the care they need. How about... You stop breeding these things. How about you stop promoting these things so that you won't run into this? Then there's the grim prospect of euthanization. Nobody wants to do it. I do. But it's sometimes the only thing shelters can do to provide adequate care to all their dogs. In South Carolina, Clark and her 15-person staff follow the Association of Veterinarians' Guidelines for Standard of Care in Animal Shelters which states aversion to euthanasia is not an excuse for overcrowding and poor welfare. It's not a possibility, it's a reality, Clark says. It is the only way we can responsibly continue to proceed. How did we get here? That's a big question without a clear answer. While intakes are up around the country, each shelter and rescue is dealing with its own circumstances. While we're talking about dogs, shelters are concurrently dealing with an onset of kitten season, speaking with daily paws, shelter officials, and animal welfare experts attributed overcrowded shelters to people not getting their dogs from shelters, slowdown of spay-neuter services during the pandemic, economic and housing struggles, lack of veterinarian care. Tori Fugate, chief communications officer at KC Pet Project, perhaps summarized it best. Everything that affects humans also affects their pets. I don't know how much I I can read of this. Uh, It's hard enough to find an adoptable place to live, but landlords sometimes impose breed or size restrictions on dogs. Aww, ain't that a shame. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have any sympathy for any dogs that are in any shelters, nor do I feel sorry for any of these shelter workers that are so overworked because they've brought this on themselves. They're in an industry that promotes the ownership of these things that are getting dumped into their shelters. So if they want to fix the problem of overcrowding in animal shelters, then stop breeding dogs, stop promoting them, and euthanize them. What's the problem with euthanizing dogs? I don't understand it. I'm, I understand people want to be compassionate towards all animals, but the dogs don't have a concept of their own morality. As Animal Uncontrol has mentioned, a dog is not going to be 
getting the pink juice and thinking, man, I, I really wish I could have mauled more people or eaten more children's faces off, but I guess, I guess old Rover won't be doing that now. No, the dog will be fine. Just kill it. Or if you don't want to kill it, ship it off to China. They'll find a good home for it there. Permanently, 